<laughs> Forgive me, it's my son. He's having fun. <laughs> Watching uh, Paw Patrol. He's talking to me. He knows art, everything by heart. He's tripping me out. But look, though. Even if, even if this only applies to one person that's watching my video, I don't care about likes, I don't care about views, as long as I can save one person's life, not even one person's life, but as long as I can like, just help out, this is what I'm here to do, to help aid and assist in others. So I'm glad I could be of assistance to anybody that watch my videos, all of my loyal supporters, thank you, all my loyal subscribers that watch me, I appreciate you wholeheartedly, like for real, I appreciate each and last each and last, um, just person. Everybody's a person. I don't know y'all names, like government names, but just for y'all to be able to click on my channel and say, I like this dude's message. I like how he conveys his messages and I stand by this. Or just, he helped me out in ways more than one. I'm gonna subscribe to him because I'm looking out for his content. I appreciate you. Like for real, I really do. I was just doing it at work because I'm finna be off probation and I'm finna be basically hired in to the union. And um, I just went up to, you know, specific people that helped me out along the way, along my journey at work where I was struggling and they was helping me out on, you know, so I could do better. And um, they was appreciating and shit. Like they were kind of took them by surprise. They was kind of shocked and they were smiling and shit. I knew it was making them feel good, but I was just like, bro, I'm that type of person. I want to make sure that you know that I appreciate that shit. Like it's not in vain. Like I don't, I pay attention to everything. I pay attention, pay attention to everybody that helps me. I pay attention to everybody that doesn't help me. I pay attention to everybody that like kind of shuns me off. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't give a fuck. And um, the one book that I went back to read, I'm actually listening to the audio version right now. And it's um, the subtle art of not giving a fuck. And I'm finna be a master at that. And the more I got to read, the more when I started literally. And when I started um, applying the concepts of the book until my life, while I was at work, just just a little trial and error, bruh, that shit started working. Like I literally seen every as he was as he was talking in the book, I was doing it, and then I started noticing. I'm like, this shit actually works when you apply it. So moving forward, that's what I'm gonna do. For real, this shit, this shit, this, it was raw. It was very raw. Y'all need to check that book out if you never read that book or never heard that book. The subtle art of not giving a fuck. Be a master at that. Man, you on your way to the top. You know what I'm saying? There's really an art to that shit. And once you master it, man, bro, you got it. You know what I mean? But, um, um, you're not slow. You're not dumb for feeling the way you're feeling about a situation or a person or anything like that. If you feel like anything is off, it's a reason it's feeling off. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit guides, your guardian angels, they could be letting you know in the unseen realms that this person is not for you. Just trust yourself. Love yourself enough and respect yourself enough to know that you got the right answers, man. And you're right. You're not wrong. They're feeling the way you're feeling. If you feel like this person's not for you, 10 times out of 10, they're not for you. Stop doubting yourself and trust yourself to move on. It may be time to walk away. It may be time to focus on yourself even more. Self-preservation. When you pay attention to yourself, all of the answers are within yourself. I'm telling you, you're gonna start getting light codes. You're gonna start getting those aha moments when you start paying attention to yourself. I'm telling you, I was getting so many aha moments earlier. I was like, bro, this is what God wants you to do right now, seriously. My son finna go to sleep, I can tell. I can tell he can't sleep. Rookie, I need you to stabilize that. But, um, Rubble, yeah, man, you're not wrong for feeling the way you're feeling. You know what I mean? Um, what else I got to say? If you ask, if you ask more than twice, you're begging. You don't beg over here. Ask once and embrace rejection. And if they reject you, that might be no, not right now. It's not... You know what I'm saying? Because everything is temporary. Everything is stitch. It's just temporary. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be there for long. Love is temporary. A person could love you and then not love you the same day. 
Remember that shit. Um, emotions, emotions are overrated, you know what I'm saying? Because everything is temporary. So just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Work on not giving a fuck. Work on, because we all care about it. Like, that's human nature. You're going to care. But work on what you care about even more. And work on, like, what's, what's not worthy of giving a fuck about. You know what I'm saying? Work on the fucks that you give. You know what I'm saying? Um, avoid entitlement. Because that is not happiness. That's going away from happiness. You know what I'm saying? Um, always go to, towards your problems. Because there's no such thing as I'm done with this problem. And now I'm just... Life Life is about problems, period, bro. It's, 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 it's problems and then better problems. You know what I'm saying? So when you put yourself in a different headspace of... I want to just solve problems every day. And um, you know what I'm saying? What, what's next type shit? You kind of, you know, prepare yourself for uh, uh, a better way of thinking, a better way of living, in my eyes, in my perception, my perspective, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, um, yeah, man, just check out that book, man. That's a great read, you know what I'm saying? But uh, if you ask twice, you're begging. Uh, always trust yourself, you know what I'm saying? Love yourself even more. Um, it ain't nothing wrong with working on yourself and... and you know, being a junkie towards self-improvement. Um, and just notice, this is my last remarks, man. The enemy is going to bring up your past mistakes to try to guilt trip you, you know what I'm saying? To make you feel guilty about yourself. Forgive yourself, love yourself, and move forward. Don't let that shit bother you. Don't let it be a burden in your mind, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they want to do. It's a trick, it's a manipulation tactic. They're trying to get you to go back to your lower self or go back to that moment of reminding you, man, don't let them happen. I don't care what the op says to you. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Don't beat yourself up, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be kind, compassionate, and love yourself. You know what I'm saying? With grace. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man. But the enemy will do that, you know what I'm saying? We'll bring up your past mistakes to, you know, make you feel guilty about yourself and make you feel down bad, you know what I'm saying? Because that's them projecting how they feel about themselves and they want you to feel, you know what I'm saying, how they feeling, you know what I'm saying? Misery loves company. But yeah, man, my name's Dumb of the Spook. I love you all. Hopefully this helps somebody, no matter who you are, no matter your gender, no matter your race, no matter your ethnicity, nationality, no matter where you are in the country, I love you. Thank you. Peace.